What is going on dudes, my name is Up13 and welcome back to Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. If you missed the last episode, you need to go check it out right now. Some insane stuff happened and this episode's about to get even crazier and I'm so excited. So let's get started because it's not, not things aren't good. Figured out who the bad guy was. What's his hand? I'm probably just gonna. Well, actually, our sun got so dark. What is that? Could it, consider this a warning to all Pokemon in this world. I am Evelto. I am the one true destroyer. I am the end of Pokemon. I am the end of Pokemon. Destroyer. The yeah, an end of Pokemon. Allow me to demonstrate. Now I should send all Pokemon of this world to the void. I shall snatch away the energy. What? 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 So that's what happens? They snatch energy? It's already too late for you to possibly escape. No matter where you are in the world. No matter how far you run. I shall hunt you down. You'll become nothing. Prepare yourselves to the coming of my wrath. Trouble for the great terror that I shall unleash. Feel the unending despair I should bring to the world. You all are freaking Arceus, just kill it. I mean, Arceus is the creator Pokemon. <laughs> and so, yeah, Eveltal. I just said that really weird. Eveltal and Nuzleaf's attacks began turning Pokemon to stone again. Began Pokemon, I don't know, whatever. Many Pokemon in places all over the world were turned to stone. A few days later, here in the summit of Revelation Mountain. There's no water? Oh no. It really is all drying up. They sucked out all the luminous water. Well, well, well. I think that Caleb was key to it all. First mention the human world should have pondered him more deeply. How foolish I was. There's nothing to be done about it. We had no information to go on. Maybe we're a little late. We have to consider everything we learned about Caleb to be pro to progress. Since we lost contact with the team that went to the prehistoric store crew, it's too. We have to assume they were also turned into stone. What should we do, Ampharos? This may we may be the last members of the Expedition Society. Crunch. Welcome back, Esper. How are things in the village? Not good. Evan was turned into stone. I'm the only one left. I don't get it. What do we do now? I'm certainly at a loss here. It's okay, we'll figure something out. Really? We learned a lot thanks to you contacting us with your telepathy, including the events that took place here. Of course, there's still much we do not understand, so our expeditions must continue. Our confrontation events will have to wait until we learn more. It's okay, we'll save them. Everyone in the Serene Village. Caleb, Jad, and the others too. Esper, can I count on you to help us? I got no place else to go. We're going to save everybody, Mr. Amphros. I believe in you. Please let me help you. Thanks, Esper. This may not be the best situation right now. We'll make a comeback somehow. We just have to wait for our chance. It's not a slip away when it comes. Alright. All all there was was a little bit of cutscene. Chapter 17. The Voidlands. Uh, where am I? Chad! Oh, Caleb. Huh? Why? Well, look at that! Well, what is this place? It's crazy scary. Uh, this place looks far too frightening. How in the world do we end up in a place like this? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. That's like turned to stone, right? Turned us to stone, right? That's the case. What is this place? Could it be this is the world you lived you live in after being turned to stone? I don't know. But if it is, where are Archon and the others? Raikou, Suicune, or even Crocodile? I was shocked to find that Mr. Nuzzy behind those turning to stone incidents. Turns out he was a bad guy. I can never forgive him for tricking you like that, Caleb. You know what's funny? Is in Explorers of Sky, this is a spoiler right now. Alright, so your partner in Explorers of Sky, uh, even after Dusnor outwardly betrays you, um, 
your partner still tries to believe that he was good. In this one, John's like, I know you were bad, I don't forgive you at all. So, good. But, why Mr. Nussleaf, I mean, why would Nussleaf want to turn Pokemon to stone? It's just too much to take, my head is spinning. Nothing, this place looks crazy scary, I feel totally helpless, seriously. What are we gonna do? Uh, there are way too many things we don't understand going on here. I don't think we're gonna learn anything staying around here, though. I know we need to focus. Finding a way out of here. Jad! Yeah, I know. We can't give up right now, right? If we don't have hope, we don't have anything. Can't lose hope. Alright. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Alright, so I did all of our stuff, and I think we're probably good to go. Would you like to go on? Hold on. Uh, is that the only way to go? I oh, I can't go any farther that way anyway. Makes sense. Would you like to go on? Let's do it. Whew. Abyssal Badlands. Dang, man. I like the purple, though. That looks good. It's a sand shrew. Why would there be, like, Pokemon like a sand shrew in the void lands? Well, I suppose every Pokemon in the, in the world did get turned to stone. And it's not so dark, I can hardly see anything. Beep, 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 beep. Huh? What's that sound? Isn't that the expedition gadget? Anyone, can you hear me? <laughs> That's the den. We hear you. Chad, is that you, Chad? Yeah, Caleb's here too. Hey, Caleb, where are you, Deden? I think I'm pretty close. Keep going straight ahead. Got it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna I'm keep going because we haven't done that much, and I'm gonna definitely be speeding through that dungeon. Oh, look at that. That's very pretty. Oh! Deden and Moyle! I'm so dead, glad you're both safe, but you're here, that means... Yep, they got turned to stone. What? How? We are also turned to stone, right? The preschool ruins. What? We are suddenly attacked by Pokemon, we're at the ruins, they start flashing these lights on their fingers, black shadows came after us, in a flash, we're all turned to stone. Caleb, do you think you could be... It's the Behem, it was probably the Behem. I have no idea why, though, the Behem had the power, too, the power to turn Pokemon to stone. Do you know why we are turned to stone? This place is known in the Boys' Lands. Seems to be the place where Pokemon are set when they've been turned to stone. Pokemon have been turned to stone? It's written on that wall there, right? In the ancient foot-shaped writing. These are the Void Lands. Spirits of Pokemon that have been turned to stone and locked away here. Really does say that. It says it right there. Can you read that? The ancient writing? Yep. I don't know how come I can read it, though, but I can. That's quite surprising. It took me some time to decipher it, even with my training, but you just read it so easily. My voice is already shot, as you can hear. Enemy Pokemon in the Void Lands are not real Pokemon. They're apparitions made out of hate and given a physical form. Let's continue onward to defeat them. At least we get XP from them. I see. See, the enemy Pokemon here are all phantoms. Why is that written here, anyhow? It must be from long ago. Since your past Pokemon, they're turned to stone just like we've been. They left this record here. 
Anyway, this world Pokemon turn to stone or so I think the others from the expedition side must be here too. That's them sending out signals now. I'll stop trying to contact everyone. I just can't reach very far in this world for whatever reason. It's only because we're close to each other we're able to meet up. I see. That's why you knew we were close a minute ago. Uh Chad. What's wrong? What's wrong? This place is so frightening. I felt totally hopeless and was about to give up. We found you two did in them well. I'm glad Caleb kept going and never gave up. Chad. What do you think those ancient Pokemon left behind those writings? They did for Pokemon that had been turned to stone just like they had been. I think they probably left hints all over the place and someone hopes someone will find him. If that's the case, why, we, why do they want us to find him? Well, it's because... I, I believe it's because there's some way... There must be some way out of this place. Well then... There's still hope. Okay then. Yeah, I guess there is. There is still hope. Caleb, I was being a scary Del Caddy, saying all kinds of pathetic junk. When? Sorry for causing you trouble, but I'm alright now. When, when, when was this? I don't remember this. We gotta go farther and farther. We'll find the others from the expedition site and get out of this place. With everyone, all of us together. Alright. Look at that. I like how that looks. Alright, well, let's do our business here. Let's do our business. Deposit three items and 36 pokey. Yep. Alright, well, I think we're good. Let's do it. I gave Moal an attack looplet. Um, Cave of the Deep. That music just hits you immediately. Holy crap. God, finally, we're done with the dungeon, I think. Oh, the range runs over there, too! It would be faster to have Jad read it. Could you? Sure. Here we go, let's see. Why do Pokemon become stone? Dark matter is the source of all woe. Dark matter? There's more. Dark matter absorbs the energy of Pokemon as it turns into stone. With that energy, it grows stronger. Dark matter will continue to turn Pokemon to stone to enlarge itself. What does it mean? Well, if it's written here is correct, then the Star Commander is responsible for all the turning to stone incidents. But it was Nuzzle even Evelto that turned us to stone, so what is it? Dark Matter? Is it a Pokemon? I don't know. It's the first I've heard of it, too. There's something right over there, too! Look out for the Void Shadows. Void Shadows will make Pokemon. It cuts off right there. Looks like whoever wrote there was in a big rush. Maybe something happened to them as they were writing. Who in the world of Void Shadows? We'll just say to look out for them. 
Dark matter voice shadows. I no longer have any clue what's going on. I don't know what voice I just gave Jad. I get a really bad feeling about this. It's not all bad, huh? Yeah. Yep, right nearby. What a relief. Could that be? Yeah, sounds right. That way. Buizel. It's really you. Buizel. Hey, Jackpot. Gang's all here. All right, obviously we don't have the chief, but, you know, the chief can handle himself. Moil the Dan, and Jad and Caleb, too. Archie and Bunnelby. I'm so glad you're all safe. Aw. Happy reunion. I see, so it's like that, huh? The place for Pokemon that return to stone. So that means, the Dan said she was glad we're safe. We actually are, even though we seem to be. I was beginning to suspect something was up. Even still, I'm happy we all found each other. Gives me hope. <laughs> Guess you're right. Now our Crooked Eye Pursuit Squad and Priest Royal Ruins Expedition Squad are one. Let's work together and get moving. We'll all get out of here together. Keep up alive and don't give up. Let's do this. Alright. Uh-oh, there's the dark matter. Slither. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Alright, guys. That's where I'm going to be ending this episode of Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. If you enjoyed... I like so appreciated. I am so enjoying this game, and I'm gonna stop for now. My voice is killing me. It's freaking nearly 12:30 at night, and it's bedtime. So thank you all so much for watching, and uh, subscribe if subscribe for more because these go up every weekend. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later.